Alrighty. Mm. Another late night vlog for you all today. <laughs> Ooh, nice clean house. Um, and uh, just preparing my last meal for tonight, for tonight, and getting some food ready for tomorrow since I don't have any of my meats prepared. Meats. I'm using these egg whites up. After about two weeks, I found that egg whites. Uh, maybe not two weeks, but I think they kind of lose their flavor or something. I don't know. They just they taste different after two weeks. <coughs> I got this stir fried veggie mix. If you want to try something different? Look, guys, if you have a good method or system in place, you gotta switch it up and try different. I mean, it's good to try other things, but like, if you like the current veggies or uh, fruits mix or whatever, a uh, current brand, and you try something else uh, six months later, don't do it. Because uh, now I'm stuck with a big bag of stir fried veggies that I'm like mediocre about, and. Uh, I wasn't wasting my money because I'm obviously going to use these and eat these, but I got the, I usually get the summer roasted ones and those are way better, like, so it's good to try things, but new things, but sometimes if you already got to get some place, don't bother ruining it <laughs> for some different veggie, because I'm going to be miserable for about the next, uh, two weeks here, this is a big bag, like, I didn't realize how big, I thought I was going to go through like that, but because I don't like them, I'm going through them slowly, so, <laughs> these be, oh, way too many, but that'll be fine for now, so get these cooking, there we go, get the egg whites cooking, that'll take about 10, 10 -ish minutes, so, and I think I got an apple, like, I need, Okay. And then here I got these uh I don't even oh sunburst blend potatoes. These are oh they're potatoes, but there is a proper way, believe it or not. Well, honestly, you guys do whatever you want. I really don't care. Um but the way I like to personally cook potatoes. I just kind of get these all settled right there. And then, always make sure to wash your food. I mean, yeah, if you don't, when you get STDs, right? You wash your food. But if you're trying to build a good immune system, then maybe don't wash them and see if your body can handle it. I think that's a good way to test it. I mean, uh, I think that Arnold guy, he just eats a whole egg, raw, including shell, like he throws that thing in the blood. So, alrighty, so, come over to this fancy fancy machine. This is a multi-use convection air fryer, baker, potato maker, whatever you want to call this thing. Basically a, a multi-use air fryer type machine. And I love this thing. Uh, Let's see, you got you can toast, you can bagel, you can bake, broil, pizza, roast, dehydrate. I don't even know if you want to do that, but point is, uh, it's ba it's a multi-use machine, so you can cook these. However, if you like baked potatoes, obviously you can go with the baked. I like to do, if I'm not in a rush, I'll do 15 to 20 minutes air fry at about. 350 350 400 just kind of depends how soft you want those potatoes how crispy you want them it's all pretty relative um, and the key thing that you guys didn't see there was that <coughs> I started I put them in most people put their food in as it heat well, most people put it in once it beeps and then the timer starts I just put it in right as it starts so I feel like it slowly bakes the inside and then it gives me that kind of crispy outside you know the best cookie I mean this isn't related to cookies but the cookies that I like are the ones where it's crunchy on the outside super soft on the inside and that's the same way I like my t potatoes crunchy on the outside soft on the inside it feels like I'm mm, I'm working to eat that potato and it I don't know it's just texture flavor all these things matter when you're bulking to keep you consistent and wanting to eat your next meal despite you feeling full. I think one of the reasons I'm so successful in bulking is, well, A, I'm always freaking hungry, but <clears throat> I'm hungry to eat anything, which is really bad. But <clears throat> one of the reasons I'm successful at bulking is because I just found ways to cook my food in a way that is enjoyable. And even though it might seem boring to you guys, uh, I do enjoy these meals. Uh, unless I'm eating, you know, a thousand calories of plain rice, I usually don't have too hard of a time eating. And I don't know, I just, I enjoy eating healthy for the most part. You know, I feel better, I feel better mentally, I feel better physically, obviously. 
and my performance in the gym blows up. So, all right, let's get the chicken ready. Alrighty, so I'm getting chicken. Right, get the chicken, a couple other, or just one other, just chicken ground turkey here. Uh, chicken, pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, I get the tenderloins. These are uh, absolutely amazing. Very little prep work. You really just pop this bag. This for a while, I got the rice, right? And those are, I don't know, they're too much work, you know? When you're starving and you just want to rip this thing up 15 minutes, or even if you're not starving, you just don't want to have to chop chicken, part of a lot of cleaning, all these silly things. It's just easier to just get this thing, get the tenderloins. You know, spend the extra $34 per bag or however much, and just uh, get the tenderloins. It saves you time, it saves you cleaning, um, and they're already pretty well cut as far as the fat being removed. A lot of the times you're going to have to do all that extra fat. And I always found they're like extra bones and just chewy stuff. I didn't want my chicken from the breast. Not to say breasts aren't uh, bad. I think you probably get your money's worth a little bit more as far as how much chicken in the breast compared to the tenderloins. But tenderloins, easier to clean up, uh, or less clean up time. Quicker to cook, and they do generally pretty good job at keeping the fat off of them. Alrighty, so what I've been trying and experimenting with my uh, food lately is a little bit more seasonings and slices. And uh, I'm pretty basic. We have this dry rub actually, which I'll sneak peek uh, or uh, fore foreshadowing my next video for uh, cooking a steak. But um, I right, got my chicken breast right here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Got my chicken breast. This isn't even like good angles, but whatever. Um, according to photography or videography, these are bad angles. But anyways. So a little bit of this uh, uh, ground or garlic, garlic chicken, I love it. And believe it or not, my breath does not smell that bad after eating this. And even if your breath does smell bad, brush your teeth, A, and B, get some gum, you know? Like, it's super cheap and it'll save you that stressfulness. So a little bit of the garlic. We throw this out, we can get some more. And then uh, some of this black pepper. <clears throat> now, I often find pepper can be strong. So, I feel like cooking it kind of neutralizes it a little bit. It still gives it that extra, gives it a good amount of flavor. Oh, she's cooking now. Oh, hear that baby sizzling. Oh, and it looks like my egg whites are about ready to get cooked over before I overcook them, which has happened multiple times, believe it or not. Alright, so there you go. You got the, uh, the chicken, the egg white, and you got the uh, potato cooking in here. Big potato. Oh, and like, like, as you guys have seen, as you guys have seen, a lot of this is with the potatoes. I'm not doing any slicing or dicing or anything like that. The egg whites, it's like to save you a lot of time and prep work and to have a, well, yeah. You notice that everything's already like kind of pre, pre-assembled sort of. All you gotta do is just cook these things. Cook the, cook these babies, you know. Um, <laughs> or not cook these babies, but cook these, these uh, items up, right? <clears throat> these food items up. That's the key that I've created with this system is preparing, having it already kind of pre-made and pre-cut and everything. You just got to cook it. So <clears throat> that's really helped me succeed and have been a pretty quick meal prep. Even when I'm sometimes rushing, like I'm able to just cook these meals pretty quick in like 10, 15 minutes. So hold on, my camera's about to die again. <clears throat> Dresser on a garlic believer in hydration and being hydrated. And I just feel I know it works so good. You know, I feel like it works almost better than like some pre-workouts and pump powders. Like, let me give you an example. I'd rather take uh, 200 fluid ounces of water pre-workout or one, 175. Let's say 175 fluid ounces water pre-workout with some salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, versus 100 fluid ounces water pre-workout and a pump formula. I'd rather take the first option and the second option, assuming everything else, all other variables are the same. You have the same amount of meals, same amount of sleep, you recover the same. All, all the variables being the same. But you're just a little bit more dehydrated in the second option there. So, yeah, 100%. So even I get my water prep for tomorrow, and that really does help set my day up. And helps set your day to just start your day by drinking water. So, all right, guys. All right. So I like to grill my chicken for so three to five minutes. Wow, that's a pretty good grill, eh? I wonder if I should get that actual, like, uh, an actual, like, well, we do have an actual grill, but so I should get, like, the one where it's, it'll, it'll give it like that nice grill mark. I wonder if that'll make my chicken feel more like 
uh, authentic grilled chicken from like a restaurant. Right, so that's a pretty good grill right there. That's about, you don't want to overly dry your chicken. <clears throat> I mean, unless you like eating dry chicken, because remember, I'm not going to eat all of this in one sitting here. Um, this is for tomorrow, maybe two days from now. And uh, what I found with chicken is you leave it in the fridge for too long. Or This is why I stopped prepping chicken five days in advance unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, it's because it just kind of gets watery and like... Um, or depends how you cook it, right? So with the dry, what I found is if I leave it in the fridge for more than like three days, it starts to kind of get... I don't know, it just does not taste as good as when I do it fresh. So that's why I'm doing it fresh here, of course. I mean, I pretty much prep every meal fresh. Not because I have the luxury, but because I just like eating my food that way. And it's so much more enjoyable. Remember, enjoy being able to enjoy your food is going to help you so much in... Uh, in uh, it's gonna help you so much in uh, uh, in prep, in bulking, and whatever your goal is. So, anyways, guys, so I wanted to just end this video by saying, preparing today for a successful tomorrow, or prepare today for a successful tomorrow. Pretty cliche, but it's so true. Anytime I haven't prepped all my food the day before, I'm either running around doing stuff I shouldn't, or you end up eating meals that you just shouldn't, you know, go to IHOP or Crumble Cookie, all those kind of good places that you really shouldn't be eating and that are really just going to cause aging and you're probably going to die in the next year if you keep eating all that junk food. So, yeah, just don't do that, you know. Just if you prepare your food, you probably aren't going to die. So, alrighty guys, yeah, prepare today for a successful tomorrow. I'll see you all in the next video.